back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. Today's video is going to be another just like weekly vlog. These have been just like the most fun videos for me to film for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying them. I have been really slacking on vlogging lately because life's busy. Whenever you have a two month old baby, my hands are never free to vlog. I'm always carrying him or carrying something to him. And so I'm working on it and also Kyle has been off work the last couple weekends so we've just been like enjoying family time um, so still trying to balance mom life work life because YouTube is a job for me while still spending time with family and friends it's kind of a lot so if I'm taking a little bit more time to upload videos that is why but I appreciate you guys all being patient and still tuning in and hanging out with me whenever I do post I just got this really cute new set from Amazon I've been really into just like cozy sets I feel like that's just my vibe as a mom lately it's just so easy to throw on it's comfy but it makes you feel a little bit more put together I never wear makeup these days I want to start getting back into like actually putting myself together for the days but it's really hard finding even just like 10 minutes of like hands-free time to put on makeup um although I will say Jack is becoming a lot better about like independent play he will lay on his mat or in his bouncy chair for sometimes like 20 minutes at a time which is amazing and has just been like a game changer for my days because I finally have time to like get up and do something but if you know you know when you have a newborn baby unless your baby is just like independent mine was not <laughs> he had to be held 24 7 it's really hard to do anything for yourself um there were many times that I would hold him while brushing my teeth going to the bathroom making breakfast like you learn to do everything one-handed um but now that he's becoming a little bit more independent it's really nice to have a little bit of freedom back throughout the day but I'm still not having enough freedom to like spend an hour getting ready in the morning like I used to. So buns and like no makeup has been the way to go. But yeah, this says from Amazon. I have it linked over on my Instagram. It's just like a cozy fall thick warm set. We went to the zoo today. Um, St. Louis Zoo has like a fall event called do at the zoo kyle went into work at three o'clock today he works a night shift so we were able to like spend the morning together which was so nice so we went to boo at the zoo and i wore this cute comfy set because it's getting kind of chilly in missouri i don't know where you guys live but here it's like getting to be a high of like 65 during the day which feels really chilly i think this week is supposed to be like in the 30s as a low so fall weather is definitely upon us i'm not excited for winter but i do love fall when it gets like crisp and you have to like turn the heat on in the house it just makes everything feel so cozy jack is in the living room right now he's on his bouncer chair and he fell asleep so <laughs> taking advantage of any time that he falls asleep to do something i actually just got like 10 minutes of work done on my laptop just like finally getting time to sit down and go through emails reply to people I have just a lot kind of on my plate right now so finding the time to do that in between naps another thing I'm having trouble keeping up with is keeping a clean house I do not know how moms do it that have babies and their house is like always spotless I like to think I keep a pretty clean house usually but definitely hard to find the time to clean whenever you have a baby I used to clean like every single week like a deep clean um but I'm finding that now I just have to kind of like intermittently clean whenever he's asleep or chilling like playing by himself I'll have to like do the dishes really quick or run downstairs like throw a load of laundry in whenever I have like a minute to myself so yeah definitely finding it hard to keep a really clean house and I find we have a lot of clutter these days especially just because baby stuff has been accumulating and overtaking the house for example standing in our sunroom right now we have a new little play area for him because I find that he gets kind of bored if he's just in like one spot all day every day so I set up a play area in here I put like a little play mat in our living room one in his nursery just so I can like rotate him throughout the day so he stays entertained then we have like our diaper bag our uh, what do you call it car seats we are in the process of like seeding our grass and stuff like that. You know, it's a thing that you do in the fall if you have a house and a yard. So we are setting up sprinkler system outside. So that's why we have hoses <laughs> right there. I do eventually want to make this a playroom, I have decided. I love that this sunroom has been just like a nice little hangout spot for a couple years. But I think with Jack getting older, 
like I said, he does kind of get bored and his nursery is just so teeny and there's not really room for much. I feel like eventually I would love to put a big play mat down in here. I could put, don't mind our Amazon boxes, I could put a gate right there on that doorway and then just have like bookshelves, toy shelves, probably like get rid of this tall heavy mirror, but you know what I mean? I feel like it'd be really nice just to have this room as a playroom for him. Especially as he gets older and like more mobile and is crawling and stuff like that. I'd love for this whole space to be his. We can gate it off. So if I'm in there like cooking or cleaning or whatever, he can be in here playing. I know babies don't just like independent play all day. Obviously like I would still be like playing with him throughout the day. But yeah, that's definitely on my to-do list. I feel like within the next few months, I might like sell this furniture. I know it's like so pretty in here, but I do think it'd be way more functional for us. We honestly just don't sit in here that much. I sit in here sometimes in the mornings and drink my coffee, but we don't like host a lot and have people over all the time to where we'd be like missing this much. I feel like it'd be really practical for us to make this a playroom for Jack. And it'd be really fun just to like decorate it and make this like a whole new space for him. Let me know if you guys have any ideas or tips on how I could make this into a fun little play space for him. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear, and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you Making me wanna try forever And I feel so free I'm a sweet baby to the coffee shop this morning It was a really nice day out It was like 75 degrees this morning Sunny, but it's kind of like crisp it Feels like fall outside I'm kind of whispering because Jack is taking a nap right out there If you can hear his white noise machine That's what's going on Snuck in a quick shower, did a little bit of skincare. I've talked about Primally Pure products before. I love them so much. This isn't sponsored, just talking about them. Um, they sent me this clarifying mist. I don't even know what it is. It just says apply three to five pumps over makeup or on clean skin as a pick me up. So I think it's just kind of like a hydrating spray, but I love this. I literally use this every single time that I step in the bathroom because it feels so good on my skin. I do it like after a shower or just like literally any time of the day. It just feels really good and refreshing. I feel like my skin is doing so much better. After I gave birth, my skin kind of freaked out again and it felt like first trimester skin problems because I guess my hormones were all out of whack just like in my first trimester, but I feel like it's finally starting to clear up again. So I'm hoping it sticks, we'll see. I don't know with me like getting off the pill and everything last year, if that's what caused 
the issues or if it was pregnancy, but I'm hoping that my skin stays clear. We're just having a cozy day at home today. Kyle should be getting home early, which I'm really excited about. Usually he gets home like super late at night, so it's always a treat when he gets off work a little bit early. Jack is napping really good out there right now. So yeah, we're having a good day. Got my coffee, a little pick me up that I very much needed because I slept maybe four hours last night. That's kind of the theme lately. I've been sleeping maybe four or five hours, which is really hard to function the next day. So caffeine has been a necessity every single morning. Um, but I am just getting in my comfy robe. Probably just gonna lounge in this for the next couple hours. I feel like it's so hard to like get dressed after you get out of the shower when you're like so comfy cozy in your robe. This robe is from the brand Sunday Citizen. It is my new favorite thing ever in my entire house. I am obsessed. I wear it every single day whenever I get out the shower. It's so thick, comfy, soft, luxurious. I cannot rave about their products anymore. I also use their towels in our bathroom. We have their bath set. So we have their hand towels and their bath towels, which now that I've experienced their bath towels, I cannot go back to any other towel. They are so thick and soft and literally they feel like a luxury towel, but for a way more affordable price. I highly recommend all their products to all my family and friends. I'll have the bath set that we have in our bathroom linked down in the description box below in case you guys are interested. Ever since becoming a mom, I have really prioritize my own self-care just because I'm taking care of a little baby all day every day so any chance that I can get to have a little bit of self-care in my routine whether that's five minutes in the morning or 20 minutes at the end of the day after like a nice long shower I'm gonna take it and these Sunday Citizen products just help enhance my self-care routine that much more I feel like once you've experienced these like high quality materials you really can't go back because it just makes it feel like you are like having your own little spa day at home it just kind of elevates your whole shower or self-care experience super soft and easy to care for I washed all these products and honestly I feel like they came out even softer after the first wash so I'm really excited to see how much softer they can get with each wash not only do I love the matching towels and bath mat set but I also have a couple other favorites from Sunday Citizen. I have to share this big comfy wearable blanket. It is literally the most comfortable thing I've ever put on my body. I'll show you guys here. It has a hood. It has pockets. It's like a giant oversized blanket but you can put your head through it so you never have to take it off your body. You can literally wear it around the house, wear it on the couch, do laundry in it. I also have a beach towel from Sunday Citizen and even though it's getting cooler, Jack and I love to put this out whenever we go to the park or if we just even lay in the backyard. Like I showed you guys earlier, we love to just like get cozy, lay in the backyard. It's a really nice, big, thick, great quality towel to lay down that Jack and I can comfortably lay on. I am just obsessed. If you guys are in the market for some new bath towels, robe, or just want to check out their website, they have so many amazing products on there all so cozy, soft, and luxurious. I'm honestly browsing their website all the time. Eyeing so many products would make really, really good gift for the holiday season coming up. Obviously, like a robe is an amazing gift. Everybody loves a good, soft, comfy robe. But honestly, even just like a comfy, luxurious bath towel set, that would be such a great gift. I feel like I'm really showing my age right now, but I would personally love a good bath towel set as a Christmas gift um but just check out their website because they have so many goodies like I said I will have Sunday Citizen linked down in the description box below and you can use my code to get 15% off your next purchase which I will have that code on the screen and also have it all down below hello guys it is the next day I feel like I'm constantly vlogging in my car and I'm very aware of that and I'm sorry it's like I feel like the only Oh my gosh, someone just drove behind me on a moped. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, but I feel like driving is just the only time that I feel like free, like my hands are free and I'm not like constantly like trying to multitask, taking care of a baby um, and filming. So I feel like this is just like the easiest time for me to chat when I have things that I wanna talk about. Um, but yeah, do apologize that a lot of my vlogs have been in the car lately. But we are getting out of the house again and I'm going to a hot yoga class. I'm so, so grateful for my sweet mother-in-law, Kyle's mom. She's retired, so that has been such a big blessing ever since having Jack because my parents are not retired. Otherwise, I know that they would be over a lot more um, and watching Jack a lot more, but uh, they're still working full-time, so it's just not possible. But my mother-in-law is retired and full-time grandma, and so she has been so helpful. She and I have been 
getting together all the time during the week since she's off and I'm home and obviously she wants to see Jack um and she always is like offering to watch him so that we can go out and like do things which if you guys have a baby you know it's just like the biggest blessing to have help because it really does take a village like now I know why they say that it's so nice to have someone that you love and trust with your baby someone that you trust to watch your baby because don't get me wrong I know that can be hard for a lot of moms out there I know a lot of my own girlfriends really struggle with leaving their baby with anyone besides their husband um and it is really hard at first it took me like a while to get used to anyone watching him and I still won't let just anyone watch him pretty much just like grandma and grandpa um and Kyle obviously but it is so nice and so worth it to take a break for yourself whether that's like working out or if that's not your thing just like getting out of the house going on a walk going to the park or going and just doing something that you enjoy hanging out with friends even if it's just for like an hour like I always tell my girlfriends who kind of struggle with that even if you just take 30 minutes or an hour it's so beneficial for you and I always feel like a better mom whenever I'm doing things for myself because I miss him when I'm gone and I'm always feeling so much happier and more fulfilled um, whenever I'm taking care of myself too, you know? So yeah, for all you moms out there, I know it's scary, but it's always worth it to take a break every once in a while. And I know that a lot of guilt comes with that. I felt so much guilt, especially in the beginning when my hormones were like all over the place for wanting a break. I felt like I couldn't express that. I wanted a break because as a stay-at-home mom, I feel like it's kind of glamorized and moms are supposed to, like, it was our decision to stay home with the baby, right? So you're supposed to love it. Like, you don't get a break from it. Like, you're the one who chose this, which I think is just not the right mindset because being a stay-at-home mom, although amazing and although I did choose it and although I do love it, it's still a job. Um, and everybody needs a break sometimes, you know, no matter what your job is, everybody needs a break. <laughs> and so it's much better for my mental health if I have like a few moments to myself every day or do a workout class a couple times a week. But yeah, I'm just so, so grateful for family that loves baby Jack as much as we do and helps to take care of him and is around whenever we need them. All right, I just got out of class. I look like a tomato. I am like so sweaty but while I was in that class I just thought about something that I wanted to talk about because I was just preaching like oh get out of the house and leave the baby for a little bit give yourself a break um and I just want to acknowledge that it is hard like that whole class I was pretty much just thinking about Jack and it's like even though I'm preaching like oh like it's so good for me to like get out and like get a break that does not mean that it's easy for me. I feel like, especially in yoga, you're supposed to like clear your mind and be present in the moment. And that's always hard no matter what, but especially when you have a baby at home that you're leaving behind. So yeah, the whole time I was in the class, I kept trying to challenge myself to be present and just focus on the workout, like focus on yoga and not worry about things and all I could think about was just like Jack and how he's at home and that I left him and wondering how he's doing wondering how grandma's doing is he fussing is he hungry you know like just all these thoughts and then I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do whenever I get home and bedtime tonight and oh is he gonna sleep good tonight am I gonna get any sleep right like I have like all these worries which is just so dumb that we do this to ourselves like we worry about the future when it's not even here yet um and I know that's really normal but yeah I just want to acknowledge that I'm not saying that leaving the house and taking breaks is easy because it's most definitely not and yeah I just feel like that entire class I was just like so not present like I had a really good workout and it felt so good and I do feel especially physically I feel so much better right now than I did going in um it's just like getting a good sweat there's nothing that like beats getting in a good workout but yeah like mentally though I feel like I was not 
there. I was not present in the moment and it was really hard for me to shut my brain off and to stop worrying about Jack or just thinking about him. Um, and I feel like as a mom, that's really normal and that's probably just going to be my future. I'm probably never going to stop worrying about him and thinking about him, um, even whenever I'm away from him. So yeah, I just wanted to share that because it's definitely not easy. with his reflux if he like feeds sitting up um it's about eight o'clock jack woke me up bright and early this morning at like 6 37 so it's been a tired slow morning so far but he did pretty good last night i find every night is a little bit different but he seems to wake up around like similar time increments he usually sleeps for the first stretch like three to four hours so if i put him down at like eight He'll sleep till 11 or 12. If I put him down at nine, he'll wake me up around like 12 or one. Just kind of depends. Sometimes I'll get a four hour stretch in there, but it's usually around three hours. And then if I'm lucky, the second stretch will also be around three hours. Um, and then after that, he's usually waking up like every two hours after that for a feed. And every baby's so different on this. I have done like so much research and I was like really stressing myself out about it at first because I just felt like, oh, he should be able to sleep longer stretches. My doctor, like his pediatrician said, he should be able to sleep six hours in a row right now. Um, and a bunch of my friends have babies that sleep through the night already and they're only a couple months old. But I find the comparison game <laughs> does you no good because every baby is truly so different. And I haven't done any sort of like sleep training with him. He's just too young. He's only two months old. Uh, and that's another reason why I need to remind myself that it's okay that he's still waking up in the middle of the night to feed because he's only two months old. So he's just a hungry growing boy and he just can't go six, eight hours in a row right now. Some babies can, but I know that whenever he wakes up in the middle of the night, it's not just like a fuss. Um, I've kind of tried like soothing him or giving him his passy to put him back down, but it's like a hungry cry whenever he wakes up. And I find that if I just give him a bottle, he drinks a couple ounces and just falls right back to sleep. So honestly, it's easier on both of us if I just feed him because um, it just fills him up and he goes back to sleep for a few more hours. So yeah, I don't know. I talked about this over my Instagram and I know I got so many messages because I posted on there um, just about him like waking up every few hours and I literally received more DMs than I've ever received in my entire career on social media. <laughs> There's so many just like moms that follow me and so many moms that struggle with the same thing. Um, a lot of moms reaching out and like giving advice on what they do for their night routine and all that stuff, but mainly just moms reaching out encouraging me that it's okay and it's normal for babies to wake in the middle of the night. I feel like it's definitely like a westernized culture idea that newborn babies or even like one, two, three month old babies should be sleeping through the night. Um, and it puts a lot of pressure, especially on new moms that have never done this before because it makes you think like, oh, what am I doing wrong? Should my baby be sleeping through the night? 
And yeah, some babies do. My niece, they brought her home from the hospital and she slept through the night. Like they had to wake her up to feed her at nighttime. Um, she was just a really good sleeper and she still is. She sleeps in her crib like 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. all by herself and she's not even a year old yet. So some babies are really good sleepers and that's great and I'm very jealous if your baby sleeps through the night. But I wouldn't say that's the norm. Um, I know that there are like so many accounts out there about sleep training and people sell all these guides and programs on how to get your baby to sleep eight hours through the night. And I do think that is beneficial. Maybe as they get a little bit older, I don't necessarily think sleep training is for a two month old. I think you can start to get a two month old on a schedule during the day and a night routine that can help their stretches be a little bit longer at nighttime by giving them more calories during the day and making sure they're napping during the day but not too long of naps, just like all of that stuff. There's so much that goes into baby sleep and schedules. It can be really, really overwhelming. So I try to take it all with a grain of salt. I try to take in all the information and kind of like do with it what I can or what I want to do with it. Um, so we don't really follow any like strict routine during the day. Um, he's just still so young and so little and still relies on me for so much. He's not really great at independent sleeping. He doesn't want to sleep in his crib during the day. He, if he wants to sleep during the day, it's going to be in the stroller, his car seat, um, in the car on me, like contact naps. Sometimes he'll sleep in his bouncy or the swing. Um, but yeah, it's not like I can just lay him down for a two hour nap in his crib and he'll just like sleep independently that whole two hours. And eventually we'll get there. I feel like we do crib nap sometimes. Sometimes I put him in his crib at nighttime. Um, so he has slept in there occasionally, but I'm definitely not putting too much pressure on him to sleep three, four naps a day independently in his crib. Um, because that's just really hard for him right now. He does not like being in there by himself. So yeah, all this to say, if you're a new mom or just a mom in general, and you're feeling a lot of pressure around getting your baby to sleep through the night, just know that is not normal and it's totally okay if your baby sleeps in two hour increments, three hour increments, maybe you'll get a four or five hour stretch every now and then, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely kind of learning that as I go. I'm learning a lot as a first time mom and I'm learning that there is just so much pressure on new moms to have these babies that have these perfect schedules during the day and these perfect night routines and their baby sleeps eight hours a night and it's just not realistic. So yeah, I've kind of just been trying to follow my mom gut and just like my intuition and also just remembering like he's a human he is not a robot i can't just get him on this like perfect routine down to the very minute that he's gonna follow the exact same every single day every day is different with a baby it's actually crazy how different every day is like right as you think you have a routine down they switch it up on you um night times have been pretty consistent he likes to fall asleep around like eight o'clock every single night i noticed around seven o'clock he gets really fussy last night we were actually able to do like a little bath shower together normally i give him a bath every night um and i know there's a lot of opinions on that too i haven't found that giving him a bath every night dries out his skin maybe it'll change in the winter months when it's like colder out but as of right now, he loves getting his nightly baths. As you can see in the video, he's just like so zen during his bath time. But I was in need of a shower. Normally I wait till Kyle's home to shower, but he worked a night shift last night. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna try to shower while he's hanging out in his bathtub. So I just put him in his little tub and like off in the corner of the shower and then I showered um, while he like soaked in water. So it kind of worked out. It was definitely, a task <laughs> to figure it out but we did it i prefer to shower alone instead of taking care of a baby while i shower but nevertheless we still were able to multitask get him a bath give me a shower so that was really nice but yeah just wanted to share my thoughts on all things schedules and sleep training i will film like a night routine video soon and kind of take you guys along with us like step by step what our night routine looks like we do keep the same night routine um 
so yeah i'll film that for you guys soon if you guys want to let me know comment down below if you want to see a night routine video and i can film that for you later in the day now it's Tuesday I just got back from hanging out with a girlfriend of mine and then I went over to my mother-in-law's house to hang out with her for a little bit Kyle got home this morning from a night shift so he was home sleeping all day so thought I would let him kind of like sleep in peace and head out for the day so started my day off at a really cute coffee shop it's called Telio I think is how you pronounce it in Kirkwood around the St. Louis area it's literally like a little charming house that they turned into a coffee shop i wish i got footage i plan on recording but i totally forgot because we just got talking but yeah it was just like the cutest little coffee shop i got some overnight oats a bagel and coffee and then we went over to by we i mean me and mr jack who is playing on this little play mat right now we went over to my mother-in-law's house and hung out with her for a little bit since she was home today got some snuggles in with grandma and now we are back home. Kyle is outside watering the yard because we are working on getting that grass to grow. We put down seed, by we I mean Kyle <laughs> put down seed last week. Um, and we're hoping that it grows before it gets like too cold out. There's kind of like that fine line between putting down the grass seed when it's still warm, not too warm, um, but before it gets like too cold overnight. And I think tonight it's supposed to get down in the 30s, like below freezing. So not looking good for our grass, but ho hopefully it'll start to grow even though it's cold. Mr. Jack is in a good mood right now, just playing on his little play mat. He loves this thing. I got this from a friend for my baby shower. Um, it's just this really big fluffy play mat from Amazon. He has been kicking so much lately, cooing, talking to us more. I'm waiting for him to like start reaching up and grabbing things. Right now he kind of like raises his arms and just kind of like bats at things but he hasn't grabbed for anything with his hands yet so i assume in the next like month or so he'll kind of start grabbing for things and we have dinner going in here we're just making some pasta I'm gonna use this bertoli sauce tonight creamy basil alfredo it looks really yummy comment down below if you are a candy corn fan i'm a firm believer that you either love it or absolutely hate it and i love candy corn like during the halloween fall season i always go pick up a bag and i snack on it as you can tell every single day but i know some people like literally can't stand it i wanted to share about this formula machine that i showed in my video earlier i am so lucky one of my girlfriends that i used to teach with she came upon this at a yard sale recently she texted me a picture of it, it was like hey like these people are selling this baby resin for 25 dollars at this yard sale she was like do you want me to grab it for you so i was like oh my gosh yes snag it because i looked into getting one of these when i was pregnant but i wasn't 100 percent sure obviously if i was gonna breastfeed or formula feed i was just kind of like gonna see how it went so i didn't want to splurge on it if i didn't know for sure i'd be doing formula and i'm so happy with it it makes making bottles so quick and easy especially for those like middle of the night bottles it seriously takes two seconds. All you have to do is click the amount that you want and then press start and it's so fast. I love it. So if you are thinking about doing formula with your baby or if you already have a baby and you do formula, even if you just do like supplementing formula, I still think it's worth it. It makes it so fast to make a bottle. Um, it's definitely quite the splurge, but maybe you could find it like on sale certain times of the year. Definitely recommend. And then this is the Baby Brezza uh, sterilizer and dryer. This was gifted to me or just like donated to me by my sister-in-law. She um, got this whenever she had her first baby and she's, let, she's letting me borrow it. And yeah, also 10 out of 10 recommend this. And then as far as bottle storage, right now we just have this contraption over here. So it just holds all of our bottles and bottle parts. If you have Dr. Brown bottles, you know there's so many parts to them, which is kind of annoying. I'm honestly not a huge fan of Dr. Brown bottles because they leak all the time and they're such a pain with all the parts um but i already bought so many and i don't want to like waste my money by buying different bottles so i'm just gonna 
suck it up and use them. Um, keep the tops up here. And then over here is where I keep some of the supplements. So we give him this like Mylacon gas drops when he's gassy. And then I give him this Biogea or Biogea, I don't know how to pronounce it, probiotic drop. I do five of these a day in his bottle. And then if you didn't know, babies have a hard time getting vitamin D. So they are supposed to get vitamin D drops. So I give him these Mommy Bliss vitamin D drops every day. And I also have this Earthly Infant Tummy Relief. Um, it's supposed to be just like a more like natural holistic um, tincture for whenever they have upset tummies. And then we just use this Dr. Brown's bottle warmer over here. Um, it's not my favorite. It takes a really long time to warm bottles and I swear it always gets them too hot. But back whenever I was refrigerating my breast milk, this is always what we used. So we don't really use it as much anymore now that we have the formula machine and that comes out hot, but still nice to have in case we ever need to warm a bottle. All right, someone was fussing, so he was sick of that, wanted to come hang out in his swing for a little bit. We are waiting for dad to come in and then we're gonna eat some dinner. Um.